Hello, good evening viewers. How are you? Enjoying? Fantastic. Now today uh, we shall first talk about form work. We will understand some terms and then we will go for estimation in form work. We will take some examples, we will solve them, we will take footings, box footing, trapezoidal footing, then roof beam and then finally we will solve a difficult example of complete RCC slab. Okay, so stay connected, keep watching, take care, see you. So let us uh, take a quick visit, uh, these, are, these are the props, steel props, RCC beam form work, this is RCC beam already completed, these are the sides of the RCC beam, these are the sides, column de-shuttering has been done. All form work what you see here is made of steel props. This is slab bottom, slab centering, beam bottom. This is another slab. These are, this is called chabi. Now I am walking through. See, this is the opening in the slab. So sides. We are standing on a slab. Alright, this is the first example of today. There is a box footing. The size of the box footing is 1200 by 1200 mm. The depth of the raft is 600 mm. So you need to tell me what is the area of shuttering. It's very easy. It is the easiest example what we are doing today. So can you calculate? Now those of you who have not yet seen the box footing. I will show you the box putting. See, this will be a box and in this we will be casting the concrete. So, this becomes a box putting. So, we need to calculate these four sides. Okay, got it. Now, let us see this length, this height, this length, this height into four. This size is given as 1200 by 1200 and this depth is given as 600. So can you just see it on the side view. This side is 1200, this side is 600. So area of one side is 1.2 into 0.6 that becomes 0.72. So total area is 4 into 0.72 which gives you 2.88. Here I have forgot to put the decimal 0.6 should be 0.6. Okay. Next example for you, now instead of a box footing, we are going for a trapezoidal footing. The, the size is again 1150 by 1150, wrap depth is 300 mm. Now first you must imagine the trapezoidal footing. I will just show you a sketch of a trapezoidal footing. You must have seen this. So now this length is 1150. This wrap depth has been given. So you have to multiply this into this into 4. That will give you the solution. These 4 sides are basically required for a trapezoidal footing. I will show you the exact uh, photograph of a trapezoidal footing. See it is like this. So basically you have to put only this box okay in our example it is 1150 and the wrapped thickness has been given so now you can calculate now here comes the solution 1150 by 300 so 1 into 1.15 into 0.3 gives you 0.345 square meter and hence total area becomes 1.38 square meters. Got it? Now let us go for 
the formwork of a roof beam. The span is given as 6750 mm, the beam width is 250 mm and the beam depth is 650 mm. It is a simple example, simple beam, simple roof beam. So you need to calculate the beam bottom and the beam sides, two beam sides, one beam bottom. So before we do this, let us have a look. This building, RCC building, this is a beam. You can see the beam, you can imagine the beam. And then uh, based on this, you need to calculate. Now let us have a look at the beam bottom. This is beam bottom, which is fixed on the column. You see the column with hacking on the RCC surface and now we go for the solution see beam bottom is 6.75 into 0.25 gives you 1.69 square meter two sides 2 into 6.75 into 0.65 gives you 8.78 square meters so total area becomes 10.47 square meters that is 112.66 square feet or 1.12 brass 100 square feet mix one brass okay and now so friends till date or till this time we have seen two types of footings that is box footing which was square trapezoidal footing which was also square we calculated the sides for box footing for the trapezoidal footing and then we went for roof beam and today initially we saw one small video where we saw the actual site where uh, I was explaining something to the students okay and now we will go for a RCC slab so I am just going to show you one example one sketch in that uh, the slab spans have been given the longer span the shorter span the beam sizes are given and then based on that we need to calculate the centering for the slab the beam bottoms the beam sides okay beam bottoms sides now in this case uh, of slab the external depth will be more than the internal depth for example if this is the beam this is the beam and uh, this is the slab right so from outside if you see this depth will be more from inside this depth is less this you have to imagine so i think you will have to go to a site and actually look at the way the shuttering is done that cannot replace anything you must visit the sites on a regular basis okay so let us see the example and here is the fourth example of today for a roof slab this length is given the longer longer span is 7650 mm the shorter span is 3650 mm this is rb1 rb1 rb2 rb2 so what we need to find out total form work area okay now before we start the solution just have a look at this actual slab this is a rcc slab just to make the things clear this is uh, another slab this is the staircase in our example we are not taking staircase that we will take separately so I was explaining this inner side of the beam, this is the beam bottom, this is the slab. And this is the slab under casting. You can see the elaborate arrangement, this is the external side of the beam, beam bottom is here and uh, this is the uh, slab. Now we are on the solution. First, what we do, we calculate the outer lengths. 
what we what we have done is seven six five zero plus hundred fifty plus hundred fifty gives you seven nine five zero, and then similarly we calculate this shorter uh, shorter span outer side three six five zero plus two fifty plus two fifty. Okay, so centering of slab will be seven point six five into three point six five. Which gives you 27.9 square meter. Now we come to beam bottoms. RB1 two numbers, RB2 two numbers. Uh, just remember, we have not uh, directed the columns. Okay. So centering for slab, beam bottoms, beam sides, and uh, now let us make a summary. That slab centering will be 27.9 square meters, beam bottoms will be around 5 square meters, and beam sides will be 22.35 square meters. This is the summary. According to this, now you can procure so the that material. Is how we have okay, got it. taken four different examples for form work, footings, roof beams, and RCC slab. We covered four examples, we solved the examples, we saw some photographs, we understood some terms. And we saw one video of a slab under construction. Okay, hope you have enjoyed this session. Okay, and uh, just by the way, if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, do subscribe today. Okay, thank you so much. Take care. Bye bye and stay connected. And just wanted to add one thing that uh, in this video if you have got any queries questions any any uh, clarifications then you can uh, just uh, write down your comments your questions in the comment box and i will see that these are answered properly you must have seen that people ask questions i will uh, normally answer within a day or so okay so don't uh, forget to write down your questions Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. This is Santosh Kulkarni. Glad to meet you. Bye-bye. Take care.